start by giving some background information about company we choose, which is Tesco Company. As we ever, Tesco Company is a British multinational groceries retail company where it is the one of the largest grocery in the world. Tesco operating in several countries, which is Ireland, Hungary, Poland, Thailand, and Malaysia. Tesco was founded in 1919 by Jack Cohen as a group of market store. The company offered a wide range of products, including groceries, fresh produce, household goods, clothing, and electronics. It also provides a financial service such as banking and insurance. The mission of Tesco Company is to serve communities, create employment opportunities, and contribute to a sustainable future. Meanwhile, their vision is to become the leading retailer globally known for our commitment to customer satisfaction, innovation, and social responsibility. Next is current strategy. There are several current strategies they do, which is customer-centric approach, cost efficacy and operational excellence, and sustainability and community engagement. First is customer-centric approach. Tesco aims to understand its customer needs and preferences better. They focus on providing a personalized shopping experience, improving customer services, and tailoring their offering to meet specific customer segments. Second is cost efficacy and operational excellence. Tesco strive to achieve cost efficacy throughout their supply chains and store operation. This involves optimizing process, reducing waste, and improving productivity to deliver value to customer. Lastly is sustainability and community engagement. Tesco has made commitment to reduce their environmental impact and engage in community initiative. They aim to reduce food waste, lower carbon emission, and support local communities through various programs. Next, we will moving on to the company profile. Firstly, we will discuss on the financial analysis. In its financial year in 2021 and 2022, the annual sale amount 320,533.80 ringgit Malaysia, whereas in 2022 and 2023, it's gained to 337,478.40 cent ringgit Malaysia. The low amount of its financial year in 2021 and 2022 may impact due to the currency fluctuation and predictable tax exposure and changes in tax law. Secondly, organizational structure. The type of organizational structure used by Tesco is hierarchical structure. The top structure is the board which consists of executive and non-executive directors. And the top board is followed by the audit committee. Secondly, group chief executive and executive committee. Thirdly, group risk and compliance committee. And last but not least, business and functional leadership team. As we know, all company has its own core competency. Tesco is one of the companies that understand customer needs. Tesco listens to customer feedback to make a right decision. However, we identified that less than 100% to customer need feedback lead to bias and unreliable data. <coughs> Besides, Tesco is a cost leader company. Tesco offers a LD price mesh, low average price, and club cut price. On the other hand, the weakness of become a cost leader is Tesco will experience difficulties to maintain its profit. Next, we're moving on to the corporate culture. Tesco aims to provide an understanding customer needs culture by using a customer-focused approach. This culture is driven by its core value, which is no one try harder for customers. Also, Tesco believes the smallest action gives a significant impact on its business. This action allows the company to make a continuous improvement and stand to its values which is every little help make a big difference. 
In overall, this culture lead to lack of innovation within the company because this culture is only focusing on improving the current products and services. Next, we identified that Tesco adapt to business level strategy. Firstly, Tesco used cost leadership strategy to offer its customer a low price product and service. However, too much focus on cost reduction neglects customers' perfection of competitive levels of differentiation. Secondly, Tesco used a multi-channel and multi-payment method strategy to adapt with today's business environment. By adopting this strategy, its customer can easily access and purchase their products. On the other hand, this strategy led to dissatisfaction among customers when the product did not meet their expectation. This situation commonly happens when customers purchase through website. In corporate level strategy, Tesco used diversification strategy. This strategy allowed Tesco to expand its business and develop more opportunities into new market. For instance, Tesco Lunch, Tesco Mobile, and Tesco Bank. However, we identified expanding its brand into new market enhanced complexity of Tesco business. This is because Tesco needs to provide additional resource and financial. Next, we move to environmental analysis. For key environment trends, Tesco has done three environment trends which are sustainable packaging, energy efficiency, and waste management. For sustainable packaging, Tesco has launched a program to reduce plastic packaging with 4R strategy which is remove, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Tesco has set a target of 15% of reduction in plastic packaging by 2025. Furthermore, Tesco has also launched several energy saving measures such as energy saving cooling equipment which leads to the reduction of the company's carbon footprint to make this step success. In 2020 to 2021, Tesco has managed to achieve a reduction of 8%. As for waste management, Tesco has provided a comprehensive waste management system that combines material reuse, composting, and recycling. This effort is further strengthened by training employees on waste management procedures. Next, competitive process. Tesco competitive process has been affected by three things, which are intense competitive rivalry, bargaining power of suppliers and customers. Tesco faces a strong competition involving domestic and international retailers such as Aeon and Maiden, as well as several online makers. In order to strengthen competitiveness, Tesco needs to make a difference in the market either in terms of product offering, cost, and also promotions. Next, bargaining power of suppliers. Tesco relies on a wide network of domestic and international suppliers to meet customer needs. A good relationship with supplier allows Tesco to meet customer needs well. As for the bargaining power of customers, Tesco has provided competitive prices to attract customers through promotions and fun shopping experience. This situation can affect customer satisfaction, which the offer given. For key competitors, Maiden, Econcef, and Aeon are Tesco's fierce competitions in Malaysia. Maiden has targeted budget-conscious customers through hypermarket and supermarket offerings with groceries and household goods. Maiden is said to be a rival to Tesco because of its approach in offering cheap prices to customers. As for Econcef, they also care about budget conscious customers. Econcef has bought in its own branded products and offers low prices to customers. This situation allows them to compete with larger retailers such as Tesco. Lastly, Aeon. Aeon offers a variety of a products offering such as grocery and household items as well as electronic at affordable prices. In addition, 
Aeon also focuses on customer demand items more than suppliers to enable them to promote products that are suitable for customers. In conclusion, Tesco is a leading multinational retail company that has established itself as an industry leader. It has demonstrated good financial per performance as well as a dedication to customer satisfaction. However, there are some points where Tesco can improve its competitive position and ensure long-term success with some recommendations. There are two recommendations. First is Tesco company can enhance their customer experience. They can focus on personalized marketing and customer engagement strategies to strengthen customer loyalty. Second is training their supplier relationship. Tesco company can do a foster strong partnership with supplier based on mutual trust and transparency. They can collaborate with supplier to improve the product quality, reduce costs and ensure sustainable supply chains. Tesco can improve its competitive edge, increase consumability and position itself as a retail industry leader by implementing this recommendation. That's all from us. Thank you.